Hey YouTube, Bacon Otter here to know the Bacon Otter Gaming. And today, we're playing Orion Trail. A great new indie game that I just discovered recently, and it looks like a lot of fun. Now, if you ever heard of the game Oregon Trail, which is also a lot of fun, it's very similar to that in many aspects of the way. You have a crew, you have to get to a certain destination, and things happen. You run out of food, run out of supplies, and you lose things. So if you lose fuel, food, your hull gets too damaged, or run out of crew, you're basically in a lot of danger. But besides that, that's all I really know. So I'm just going into this blind like you are. So let's jump into it. All right, choose your mission. Cruise control, a headhunter contract is available to provide an able crew with time traveling cuisine, ship and trans. Serving aboard the transmit is every crew member's dream. The tricky part is finding as many as you can in time for a launch. Reach the end of the trial trail uh, with as many crew members as you can muster. Fuel to be kind. The albino snake people are seeking large donations to ship fuel to move their planet farther from their sun. They are offering a snack of their a sample, as they spelled it, of their galaxy famous elixirs of I need your part of those who can provide the most fuel cells. Reach the end of the trail with as much fuel as you can find. Mobile Starship dealer Skell Swinder is seeking ships to s- Ah, I'll go up the cruise control. Alright. Choose your captain. Distinguishable, notable person. Wise, patient, decisive, uh, clever, determined, responsible. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going with this guy. Yeah, that fucking voice is awesome. All right, choose your ship. An immense warship built for one purpose: destruction. A Sentian ship that uses mind-controlling vapors to assimilate crew. No, a planet-hopping space pirate vessel that once belonged to Black Hole Beard. Hmm. Well, this one has more stats than the other ones. Okay, let's check up. Let's do. Let's check fuel and food. Forty, forty people. One thousand fuel. But only 50 food. But. And 3 haul. It's better than this. I'll go with this one. Alright. Choose your officers. The ship's computer. The ship's computer. Dr. Sanzanchez. Quick witted, pure hearted monkey person. Why was that important? Okay. Cor. Rarect. Dorchel? Uh. Servant bug free. Um, I'll go with the ship's computer. Choose your officers. Clumsy, unaware, disappointing, no. Manufacturing obsolete, lovable. Angry, blunt, dependable. Uh, dependable. I mean, that's much better than lovable, I guess. Choose your officers. Fearless, attentive, hungry. No, you don't want a hungry person. Focus, driven, misunderstood. Arrogant, sly, handsome. Uh, focus driven misunderstood, I guess. Ah, look at our beautiful ship! Kick back, kick ass. Oh, this shit's happening! Oh, big words. <laughs> Your non-melodic worlds to life alert you to developing interdimensional rift ahead. This is your chance. Rifts like this, this one are in the penance of deep space. Be ready for anything. Fence off the rift with laser fencing. Fly into it, but do it backwards just in case. Uh, concentrate all firepower in the rift, on the rift. Uh, let's fly to it backwards! You hear a few one person from your crew as you ensue your orders. Continue. You break the rift and enter the time stream. Since you went in backwards, you go back one week and make a series of perfect decisions with the power of hindsight. You memorize crew, have no memory of the rift, and bow before your genius. Well played, Captain. Woo! Look how good I am! Oh, I'm clever. Oh, look at me. Alright. Ah! Shit's happening! The way forward is obscured by an endlessly churning cosmic storm. Green light pulses and flashes from within the thick, vibrant clouds. How will you proceed? Try to harness this, the storm's power. Hmm. Request the use of nearby wormhole bypass. Trigger an EMP to nullify the storm. Hmm. Woo! Yeah! You nod to your weapons officer who anticipated your order and went ahead and primed the EMP cannon! A massive shockwave rocks the ship. 
You've converted the storm into harmless clouds of cotton candy. You open all the ship's airlocks and stock up a delicious result. Sweet, 91 food. Alright. So far we saw a full crew. Alright. Ah, more shit! The Doomsday Ship. An ancient planet-eating doomsday robo-destroyer suddenly come into life nearby. According to legend, it is hot, nigh, unstoppable. Yell the nearby planets for help in stopping it. Uh, discontinuation in the better part of the Valor. Hey, let's try docking with it. Uh, hail to nearby planets. You send out a general call to nearby stars since whoever they aid, they can offer. The locals arrive and scene to join you in battle against the robot destructor, although your ship takes some heavy damage. Together you all save the day. A statue, erected in, a statue is erected in your honor. Space pigeons love it. No, they're shitting on my statue! Don't do that! Oh, why would you do this? Why would you shit upon my statue? Why? Why? Oh my, more shit. You've come across a space colony with a titanic sub brain beast that's made into its nest. The colonists within are mind slaves under the beast's complete control. Besides that, the colony appears bustling and bountiful. Tap with physical link. Board the colony alone. Splatter the brain matter. You pump your fist as you're saying the order to give the thing a laser lobby. Woo! We gained more crew somehow! We lost food. We gained a flag thingy. You don't give the be the beast an inch. Raining down hot laser in every direction, you turn the beast into brain slaw and rescue some of its drooling former subjects. You offer food to those that remain. They promise to tell every everyone they meet of their heroic deed. What a great day. Now we've got 57 food now. 55 food. 54 food. 52 food! 50 food! We're going out fast. The young and the clueless. You are called to handle crew drama. Apparently, Tad and Alex have been fighting. Darakta found out and made her move. Now Alexis is in a mess, and Tad threatened with transporter engineer Skylar. Why do I... Okay. Uh, let me reread this. Uh, okay. You are called to handle cruel drama. Apparently Tad and Alexis have been fighting. Draka found out and made her move. Now Alexis is a mess, and Tad threatened your transporter engineer. Uh, beat the fuck out of Tad! Woo! You spot Tad leaving the infirmary with Dakata. Dakata is pregnant. This changes everything. You stop them and explain your deal, adding, as long as they're chill, you're cool. They nod at you smiling meekly, and cross your arms as you watch them rush off. That's right, you smile, Gobby Gorma! That's fucking right you do. So far, our crew hasn't struck out at all, that's nice. I, I proved this. Oh my god. A perfectly paired paradox. Any version of yourself dressed in a fancy vest appears on the bridge. Future you tells you to detour to a nearby planet before you can finish covered in leeches and tells you not to listen to the what? Before uh before they can finish explaining a second version of yourself. Hmm. The planet! As your shuttle closes on the planet, you realize that 95% of the planet's surface is swamp. Woo, yeah! You travel down to the planet's surface, safely avoiding a perilous looking swamp, and discover a hidden pirate cachet. Your crew outfits their sh I fucking missed all that. Outfits your ship with the advanced and weaponry and discover from it. Even better, you discover a really snappy looking vest. Woo! Look how fancy I am! I am have this vest. Ah, I'm running out of food and fuel! I don't ever can to get food or fuel! Food! Alright, come on. Alright, which one gives me food? Nothing gives me food. Internal sensors detect an alien presence suddenly aboard your ship. It has given no indication of your intentions. Try to communicate with the alien. Capture the intruder. Try to bait the alien intruder into the open. The security team scatters around food stuff. Oh, no, not the food! The food stuff works as bait, and your security team zaps the alien. Suddenly, a box of candy falls from its tentacles. They include card says, Pan Gatti singing telegrams, you ping, we sing, eventually in a matter remember your birthday. I'm at 45 fuel! Oh no! No! Well, either this is going to work, or they will feed us to the space quatch. Uh, I'm gonna play again. Uh, 
uh, cruise control again. I like that. Uh, try and pick the same guys, I guess. Oh, uh, oh, we can't. Uh, scruffy looking ship with, hmm, Ca uh, captured enemy ship with a mind of its own. Don't want that. Uh, try oh, wait, which one has the best fuel and food and most crew? Not this one, this is too many people. Scruffy looking ship with more than a few surprises. Uh, we'll go off the mind of its own. What the fuck? The ship's computer. Uh, yeah. Focus driven misunderstood. Yeah. Uh, meek afraid, arrogant, sly, handsome, malfunction, obsolete, lovely. Uh, uh, neither of these guys are good. I guess we'll take lovable. That was kind of dumb, but who cares? 35 of 50 crew already? What happened to all of our peoples? You discover an enormous black hole in deep space. Something massive stare stares at you from beyond the event horizon. You hear a whisper in your mind, offering you a deal. Ask it for food. Scan the black hole. Ask it for power. You put your best science team on the scans. You eagerly crowd around the results screen. Yeah, we got everything! Your entire science team should have been driven insane. Fortunately for you, most of them are, are already were. They easily discern the nature of this dimensional phase beast and rig your port teleporters to plump its treasures from its interdimensional space maw. Damn fucking straight! High five, space team. Oh. Ugh. The young and the clueless, you are called to handle crew drama. Apparently, Tad and Alexis have been fighting. Jocka found out. Beat up Tad! No! You growl and kick in the door to Tad's room. He was waiting for you. He hits you in the chest with a stun pulse from his phaser and laughs. He's telling you he intends to fill up your hover bike with fuel from his ship and put this place far, far behind you. Damn him! Oh, we didn't want him anyways. He was useless to us. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Negotiate with the call. Oh, wait. You come to a space colony with the So, the same thing. Uh. How much food do we have? Negotiate with the colonists' freedom. Spatter the brain matter. This one worked out pretty well last time. Uh, okay. With expert precision, you apparently did get random results. So, with expert precision, you split the brain beast right down at center fissure. Millions of stray thoughts flow free from its corpse. While a thick pinata, you fly into the for a blast off the brain boosting physical sh shrapnel off your officer. No, one of your officers was in the bathroom for it though. Oh. Oh! Dimensional Rift! Oh, uh, wait, no. Your Aquilamino Worlds to Life alerting you of a developing interdimensional rift ahead. This is your chance. Rifts like this are pinatas of deep space. Be ready for anything. Attempt to pry open the gateway to another dimension. Fence off the rift with laser fencing. Send a message into the disturbance. Let's do that! More randomness! To your surprise, bizarre beings from the rift emerge in response to your message. When the beings find out that you aren't selling cookies, they attack! They fight in ways you've never f fathomed. The fact that you're alive is a testament of your f fighter's instincts. Damn! Did not get all those hoping. Maybe the random thing is the best. Um, now the space pirate Plomitary has escaped prison. He is seeking vengeance on you and your crew for sending him away long those years ago. Ask your science team's help to outsmart Planetara, try to talk the pirate out of his revenge. Maybe he would. Maybe if we disguise ourselves? You set the fabricate to random, extend its range to cover the entire ship and cross your finger. Oh fuck, we lost food! There's a flash of light and suddenly your ship looks like Planetary's ship. The pirate arrives just in time for the authorities to arrest both ships. You convince them that you are not a pirate by having them eat from your food stores. No pirate would steal food that bad. That sucks. We lost food because of that. Didn't see how that would work, but hey, here we are. Alright. Orion's Buckle. You've reached the asteroid field. No, and it's Orion's Buckle. Or Oh my goodness, I cannot speak. Orion's Buckle. Today it appears dense with asteroids at all the sharps and shapes and sizes. Oh my goodness. Crossing won't be easy. Anything could happen in there. Engineer a compound dissolve asteroids. Hitch a ride on an asteroid. Switch off autopilot and take the helm. Hmm. 
Hitch ride on an asteroid. What the fuck? What's gonna happen with this one? Woo! We gained food and fuel! You select an asteroid to land with the perfect natural trajectory and land your ship on its surface. With travel taken away from you, you give the order to mine the asteroid for resources. You find a usable ship fuel and a self warming lynch that doesn't seem to be harming the crew members who found it. Bon appetit! Sweet, now we got more food. And we're halfway there! Alright, perfect. Fuel doesn't even be a problem. Food? Eh. We need to get more crew somehow. Don't know how. Uh, not to the planet, obviously. Uh, and a version of yourself dressed in a fancy vest appears on the bridge. Future you tells you to detour to a nearby planet before they can finish explaining a second version of yourself appears. Covered in leeches and tells you not to listen to the first you. Uh, shoot them both! You pull your blaster out and fire up two quick shots at each other. Each of the offending views. Blam, blam, blam. Both offending versions of yourself drop to the deck dead. You ain't got no time for paradoxes aboard of this ship. You search your corpses recovering a sweet vest. Either way, we get a sweet vest! No, we don't go to the planet. We don't get a sweet vest, apparently. I know our food! Yeah! Warp Weasel warning! Your ship is infested with Warp Weasel. The top apartments are all arguing over who should take care of the problem. Once everyone has a say, you consider your options. Domesticate Warp Weasels. Deploy droids to avoid loss of life. Blast them yourself. Hmm. We're running out of food, so let's get more food. You mutter angrily to yourself as you exit the bridge. Your blaster drawn. These rascals are fast, but they're but you're faster. You chase the weasels through the halls of your ship, cornering them in the airlocks. You lock them in and pressurize the chamber. Pop goes the weasel. Salad dressing is made up from their gooey remains. Gross, but necessary. All right. So back to fifty food. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Now what? Oh my! Mysterious illness. After investigating a Nebola. A Nebola? Okay. A number of your crew will start to become ill. Their skin turns green and they soon start spouting tentacles from everywhere! Your ship's doctor recommends quarantining them. Research a cure. Contact a nearby ship for aid. I'm sure they'll just be fine. Research a cure! Where others see danger, you see a research grant in the making. You put your top scientist on it at once. Inside of two hours. The science bay goes completely dark. The security team arrives. They discover that everyone in the science wing has transformed the technical beasts. Fortunately, they retain just enough intelligence to make decent hard labor. Ah! Ah, we got more crew, so that's cool. Alright, we're at 54, 50, 38 food, oh no. 35 food, we need a bit more food if we want to survive this journey. Alright. A space vortex open in front of you. Your ship's sensors show an unknown object is coming out of it. Head right your way. Whatever is coming bears close analysis. Prepare to make contact with whatever is coming. Take up a defensive position. Uh, whatever is coming bears close analysis? What the fuck? You have your scientists who, by the way, are tentacle monsters. Team up with Ray to analyze whether is coming your way. The object turns out to be a small stone about the size of a baseball. Bringing it aboard reveals that it's made of hypermagnetic material that can be seen by how your hull attracts iron asteroids and nearby satellites and passing freighters. Wow! Alright, I think we should make it before our food runs out! Alright. <sighs> the way forward is obscured by an endlessly churning cosmetic storm. Green light pulses and flashes from it. Trigger the EMP! Blow everything up! Yeah, well, we got food. Uh, we didn't get food this time. Everything is random, apparently. An impressive cluster of impulsions erupt throughout the storm uh, that the lightning call out into easy to avoid balls of energy. The science team requests permission to harvest the orbs for fuel. You give them the green light. 24, come on, make it! Galactic War Zone! You've made it to the vast and perilous Vasper Nebula, an endless battle between the Tastinash and the Chill Powder people and the Oculods. A minor eyeball squid federation rages across the Nebula. Assault the failing Ocelot lines, pass behind Tasker lines, try and negotiate a ceasefire. Assault the failing! You give the order to join the fight, fighting and prepare to give squids an eyeful. Alright. It's like shooting squid in a barrel. The eyes fly up as you unleash plasma hell on the creatures. 
an ocelot that soon surrenders, but your first officer guns half of them down before you realize what's going on. They take the squids aboard and put your officer on probation. Yeah! The alien intruder! Internal sensors detect an alien presence suddenly aboard your ship. It has given an indication of, in of its intention. Uh, try to limit the alien's movements about the ship. Capture the intruder. You dispatch a security team to hunt down the intruder. The alien mistakes your scanners for a form of welcome. It's glee if he upgrades your engine. Uh, it glee if he upgrades your engines in a bid to make them more efficient. It is a pity that the alien had no idea what it was doing. Now your engines burn twice as fast and produce vanilla custard! VANILLA CUSTARD! And we did it! Mission complete! You breathe a sigh of relief as you reach the end of the... Oh, ha, la, 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 la. Orion Trail? Why can't I say words? I don't know. I'll deliver your intrepid crew into the arms of history. And half of them are squid people by now. We came there with 49 crew. Not bad at all. Not bad. <sighs> well, there you have it, guys. That was Orion Trail. Said it right this time. But that's all the time we have for it. If you want to check it out, check the description for the link below. It's a great game. I suggest all of you play it. Because if you're a fan of Oregon Trail, you might want to give this a try. Alright, so I'll catch you all later. Love you all. And remember, insert catchphrase here. Have a good one.